If you go to page 90 of your workbook, this is ECG exercise number 11. And uh, let's start with the heart rate here first. So just at a glance, this looks like a pretty slow heart rate. And in fact, it's about uh, 30 uh, beats per minute. Let's measure it out just for fun. So uh, we find a QRS that falls in a dark line. The heart rate here is 300, 150, 175, 60, 50, 43, 37, 33, 30. So that's heart rate of 30. That's pretty dang slow. Uh, not good. Uh, we have P waves, so present and upright. Uh, we have this uh, funny looking thing off in the distance. We'll, we'll talk about that funny looking beat later. Uh, but in the underlying beats, we have uh, P waves. They're present, they're upright, they're consistent in morphology. The peer interval is about 0.14 to 0.16 second. The QRS is less than 0.12, so it's narrow. The ratio is 1 to 1. The rhythm is regular, except at the end here. And um, if we look at this FLB at the end, we have this wide QRS complex with no discernible P waves. And when you see a wide QRS complex with no discernible P waves, we have to assume that this is a focus coming from somewhere down in the ventricles. This is the SA node. And oopsie, that's not a very good drawing, is it? Uh, so a focus coming from somewhere down in the ventricles, SA, AB, um, bundle branches, and so on. And uh, so that's a premature ventricular complex. So our interpretation is a sinus bradycardia with a heart rate of, uh, whoops, that's a mistake there, that should be 30, with a premature ventricular complex. 